It was an incredible year at Garfield High School, uh, like nothing I've, I've ever experienced before. Our staff voted back in January to refuse to administer the measures of academic progress test or the MAP test to put forward a better vision for what assessment can be. And we faced a lot of challenges this year. I mean, I, my staff asked me what could happen if we refuse to give this test. It's a district mandated test. The superintendent then put forward a threat of 10 day suspension without pay. But we were tapping into a sentiment that was all across the nation. Uh, teachers seeing that education is becoming about testing and testing and testing again, rather than developing critical thinking skills, developing leadership, you know, developing creativity and the arts. And I gotta say, that I've never been more proud of my union than when our union president at the national level, when Dennis Van Ronkel sent us a note saying, your union stands behind you. And it really gave us the confidence and courage uh, to continue this fight. The superintendent at the end of the year realized that we weren't gonna back down. And he sent out an all staff email on May 13th that said the MAP test is optional next year at the high school level. And Garfield erupted in celebration and we, we won our struggle. We have a, a strong tradition at Garfield High School of cultivating critical thinking and the arts. We're, we're the home of uh, Jimi Hendrix, you know, went to Garfield High School, Quincy Jones. I mean, what would we do without the album Thriller that he produced, right? That's right. And I'm glad he didn't have to take the map test and have his creativity and love, you know, and passion for, for the arts killed. And I think this movement was part of defending that, that tradition. So uh, I'm very proud to be a Bulldog.